Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, uh, it's Nitro Kyosho. Um, I took about five, well, maybe four, four years off from acrobatic flying, guys. I had a child born, and I had, uh, we moved, and uh, just a lot of things in life, and I didn't have a lot of time uh, for practicing, uh, you know, so, but I recently got back into it. And I've gone through some of the radio and just made some adjustments here and there uh, for what I find to, to my liking. And I got some requests. People want to know the throttle uh, and pitch curves that I have set. So I'm going to go uh, through them today with you. And then we'll talk about a few other things. But uh, the numbers that I'm giving you today, guys, are good for any of the electric uh, helicopters, uh, you know, 250, 450, 500, uh, 556, 700 T-Rexes. It's good for all of them, uh, like I said, except for the, the nitros. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I have them written down here. Uh, let's go with the throttle curves first. And let's go with the normal position, okay, the normal and the throttle curve. Uh, now... I'm going to basically, when I tell you these, I'm going to say low stick, and then position two, position three, position four, and then high stick. Okay. Uh, for you guys that might not know out there, uh, position two, when I say position two, would, which would be a quarter stick, uh, position three would be at your mid stick, 50% throttle, and your position four would be at three quarter throttle, and then obviously high stick is, is full throttle. So let's get started. The normal, okay, low stick, I have it set to zero. Position two, all right, is set to 50%. Position three is at 70%. Position four is at 85%. And high stick is at 100%. Okay, now we're going to do the throttle curve uh, stunt settings. Low stick. Uh, is set to 100%. Position 2 I have set to 95%. Position 3 is at uh, 90%. Position 4 is at 95%. High stick is at 100%. And as far as the throttle curve uh, for the hold uh, is set to uh, minus 0.0%. Now we're going to do the pitch curves guys. Uh, in this section, you're going to have normal, stunt, and hold again. Okay. Uh, the first set of numbers we're going to go through in the pitch curve is uh, the normal. Low stick, 30%. Uh, position 2, 42%. Position 3, 50%. Position 4, 75%. And high stick is set to 100%. Now the pitch curve stunt. Uh, we're going to go through low stick, uh, 0%, position 2, 25%, position 3 is 50%, position 4 is 75%, and the high stick is at 100%. Now we're going to do the pitch curve, uh, the hold section. Uh, low stick uh, is at 0, position 2 is at 25%. Position 3 is at 50%, position 4 is at 75, and high stick is at 100. And that is it for those, for the throttle and pitch. Now guys, these, are, these numbers aren't set in stone. This is what I personally am using right now, what seems to work good for me, what I like. You can play with these numbers, you can change them around. Uh, you know, and hopefully you can have some success with them. My, uh, my stunt mode uh, for the throttle curve is set pretty aggressively. Uh, like I said, the low stick is at 100. Position 2 is 95. Uh, position 3 is at 90. Position 4 uh, is at 95. And high stick was at 100. Now basically, when you flip this thing upside down, and let's use, because this thing is too heavy to be trying to, around with them here. <laughs> uh, 
basically guys when your helicopter is dancing upside down like this okay what that means is when you have low stick uh, basically that means you're going to have a lot you're going to have a lot of climb out power okay from being upside down and almost near the ground and boom, you know ripping it up in the air uh, that's why mine is set the low stick is set to a hundred percent I want good climb out power on that uh, now some of the other things we can just talk about uh, generally uh, slosh mix uh, you know usually a good starting point on those guys uh, the aileron at 65% um, elevator at 65 is a good starting point and the pitch is usually good at, at about 60% uh, I'm not giving you positives or minus on those because it, that is really going to depend on your servo setup whether it's going to be at a positive or a negative uh, mine personally are set up in the, uh, the elevator and the aileron are up in the 80s, the high 80s. The pitch um, is still at about 60-61%. Uh, see you can adjust that the travel also guys with the swash mix. It's not just your travel adjustments that can, can move your servos. And basically what I do is I want a steep angle okay on the aileron and the elevator I want it as steep as I can get for to be able to flip quicker and turn quicker and basically how I set mine um, is I'll just hold the stick whether it be forward elevator or rear elevator or left right aileron hold the stick in the position whatever position you want to adjust and then go into your radio at the same time and you'll actually see it moving and what I do is I'll go till the servos will start to make a little bit of a buzzing sound and you know they've reached their limits and then you back it off a couple of notches and uh, but you really don't want to set those too high if you don't want it very quickly responsive in turning uh, I have mine set aggressively for quicker flips and, and everything uh, What else can we talk about here? Uh, well, you know, as far as your expo settings, you can either uh, make the helicopter more responsive in that in that aspect or less responsive. The Align helicopters are pretty responsive. I have mine set. Uh, the expos to aileron and elevator are both positive 20%, and the rudder is set to inhibit. Um, you know, usually in your travel adjust menu, you usually sh should have those all set to 100%. Your sub sub trim should be at zero. Um, and other than that, guys, a lot of the other little tweaks in your radio are going to depend on your gyro you're using and uh, uh, your servos you're using and different things. Um, some of the other things we can talk about quickly uh, is, uh, uh, let's see what else here. Well, if you're going to be doing acrobatic stuff, guys, just to make a quick note on that, you and I'll probably put out a video on that eventually, uh, but you really, before you guys go out there uh, for maybe new pilots, um, half of the battle of acrobatic flying is having the helicopter set up properly um, and if you decide to uh, go out in a field and it's not set up properly you're not going to have a fighting chance all right at success um, if you've spent a lot of time on simulators guys then you already know uh, what the helicopter is going to do, the reactions when you flip it upside down and you turn it. You should know what is going to happen before you attempt it in a field. Uh, and if you're using any type of a simulator like a Phoenix or a real flight, uh, 
then you should be prepared, but at the same time the helicopter has to be uh, set up correctly to do what you want it to do. And that was where I was going back to one of my 450s um, being set at 65% on the elevator and I went to do a, I didn't want to do a loop, I wanted to do a flip. There's a difference between a big arcing loop and a flip. Well I couldn't get a flip out of it. I was doing big arcing loops and uh, so that's why I jacked up the uh, the elevator to 86 percent to get a steeper angle on the swashes. But if I had gone out and tried to do a flip 10 feet off the ground it would have went right into the ground. So whenever you're going to start doing the acrobatics, um, whenever I make any adjustments to the radio I always go up high in the air because I want to make sure if something goes wrong, I'm ready for it to be able to react and, and save it. Uh, once you get it dialed in and you know how it's going to perform, and then you can do whatever you want. You know, If you feel like you want to try doing things lower to the ground or higher or whichever way. But uh, one of the most important things is having your pitch equally set. Uh, now this helicopter I have set at about uh, 11 degrees positive and 11 degrees negative. Now if the helicopter isn't set up right guys and you have uh, say no negative pitch and you decide that you have uh, 11 degrees positive and zero uh, negative and you decide that you want to flip it upside down, okay that's not going to be the problem but if you decide you want to stay upside down now there's the problem is going to come in and it's just going to go and you're going to say what's going on and usually you're going to be so amazed you're just going to watch it go into the ground instead of doing a barrel roll and trying to get out of it uh, so you definitely need these helicopters set up correctly guys I had somebody come to me with one of their 450s and they did similar to that and when we looked at it it had no negative pitch so you really uh, the acrobatic flying guys you know 50 percent of it is is on the uh, simulator knowing what it's going to do and how it's going to react and the other half is uh, having the helicopter set up properly so you can perform what you think or or hope you can can do or accomplish so those are just a few tips anyways. Uh, my name is Ray. I thank you for watching this. Um, I will be putting out obviously more videos uh, set up and different things about these. Uh, I'd like to do a, a setup video for acrobatic flying to help people. And uh, So we'll talk to you soon guys. Thanks for watching.